So about a year ago, me and my mother started talking about making a fabric together. My mother is a schooled textile nerd, which is why I was able to do this project. Firstly, we need to decide on a pattern. Then my mother makes a calculation on how many threads are needed. Once the colors and type of thread are chosen, we can get started on preparing the weave. The yarn comes in hanks, so first we have to turn the ones that become the warp into balls of yarn. Every hank is about 950 meters long, and for the warp we need about 11 of those. When they are all prepared, we can get started on the warp. To do this, we use an antique warping mill from the early 1900s. My mother uses a red thread as a guide to help keep track. At the bottom of the warping mill, she creates the shed on the last two pegs.
After doing some rounds, it's time to count the threads and tie them off in bundles of 50 to keep them from tangling. Once everything is tied up, it gets braided into a warp chain, again to keep everything from tangling. A single warp chain of ours has 320 threads, and we need 4 of those in total. When all the warp chains are made, it's time to start on the threading. Thank you. 
Using a hook tool, we take four threads at a time through the reed, making sure not to skip over a space, which is easier said than done. Once all of the threads are through the reed, it's time to wind the width of the warp onto the weaving beam. To keep the tension even on the threads, my mother places slats every so often on the weaving beam. On to the next tedious part, the threading of the warped threads through the eyes of the heddles. Through this process you will determine the base pattern for the fabric. I am going for a fishbone pattern, but you could also achieve something similar to a diamond twill pattern. Once the warp is secured in the loom and the treadles tied up, We can get started on the weft. Using a bobbin winder, we wind up the weft threads on these quills.
The quills get placed in the middle of a boat shuttle, like this one. And now I can get started on the actual weaving part. This pattern is very easy to follow. Using the four treadles or foot pedals, I start from the right, moving over to the left after every new weft thread is threaded through. Once the pattern is finished, I just start over on the right side again. After the new weft thread is threaded through with the boat shuttle, I have to beat the weft in place with the beater. Once I run out of space, it's time to advance the warp and wind some of the woven cloth onto the cloth beam. Now I just have to repeat these processes until I finish the woven cloth. <laughs> 